boys and girls, my name is Jackie Morales and I am a student here at the University of Utah. And for today's lunchtime learning, we are going to be reading a book by Dr. Seuss called Fox and Socks. And then after that, we are going to be doing a very fun special art activity um, that involves painting with your hands. So today we are going to be using our fine motor skills and I am so excited. So let's get started. So before I go ahead and start reading, I wanted to show you all the materials we are going to need for our art activity, if you want to get those ready while I am reading, you are going to need one white construction paper, um, two brushes, it does not matter the size, you just need two brushes, a pencil, a sharpie or a permanent marker of any kind, or even just a black marker. You are also going to need a paper plate, um, three paint colors, blue, orange, and white. Our book today is Fox in Socks by Dr. Seuss. Oh, I forgot to say, the first page says, take it slowly. This book is dangerous. Fox socks, box knocks, knocks in box, fox in socks, knocks on fox in socks in box. Socks on knocks and knocks in box. Fox and socks on box on knocks. Chicks with bricks come. Chicks with blocks come. Chicks with bricks and blocks and clocks come. Look, sir. Look, sir. Mr. Knox, sir. Let's do tricks with bricks and blocks, sir. Let's do tricks with chicks and clocks, sir. First, I'll make a quick trick brick stack. Then I'll make a quick trick block stack. You can make a quick trick chick stack. You can make a quick trick clock stack. Hmm, those are a lot of clocks. And here's a new tricks trick, Mr. Knox. Socks on chicks and chicks on fox. Fox on clocks on bricks and blocks. Bricks and blocks on knocks on box. Uh-oh. That looks pretty heavy. Now we come to ticks and talks, sir. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, sir. Clocks on fox tick. Clocks on knocks talk. Six sick bricks tick. Six sick chicks talk. Please, sir, I don't like this trick, sir. My tongue isn't quick or slick, sir. I get all those ticks and clocks, sir. Mixed up with the chicks and talks, sir. I can't do it, Mr. Fox, sir. I'm so sorry, Mr. Knox, sir. Here's an easy game to play. Here's an easy thing to say. New socks, two socks. Whose socks? Sue's socks. Uh-oh, here comes Sue. Who sews who socks? Sue sews Sue socks. Who sees who sew? Who's a new sock, sir? You see, so, Sue, so, Sue, news, socks, sir. That's not easy, Mr. Fox, sir. It's really not easy. Who comes, crow comes, slow Joe crow comes. Who sews crow's clothes? Sue sews crow's clothes. Slow Joe crow, Sue's whose clothes? Sue's clothes. Sue sews a socks of fox and socks now. Slow Joe Crow sews a knox in a box now. Uh oh, it looks like he's going to get stuck in that box. Sue sews a rose on Slow Joe Crow's clothes. Fox sews hose on Slow Joe Crow's nose. Hose goes, rose grows, nose hose goes some. Crow's rose grows some. Mr. Fox, I hate this game, sir. This gum makes my tongue quite lame, sir. Mr. Knox, sir, what a shame, sir. We'll find something new to do now. Here is lots of new blue goo now. New goo, blue goo, gooey, gooey, blue goo. New goo, gluey, gluey. Here comes the blue goo. Gooey go goo for chewy chewing. That's what that goo goose is doing. Do you choose to chew goo too, sir? 
If sir you sir chose to chew sir with the goo goose chew sir do sir. Oh, it seems like it's getting a little bit harder now. Mr. Fox, sir, I won't do it. I can't say it. I won't chew it. Very well, sir. Step this way. We'll find another game to play. Bim comes, Ben comes. Ben brings Ben a broom. Ben brings Bim a broom. Ben bends Bim's broom. Bim bends Ben's broom. Bim's bends Ben's bends. Ben's bent broom breaks. Bim's bent broom breaks. Looks like they don't have any more brooms now. Ben's band, Bim's band, big bands, pig bands. Bim and Bim lead bands with brooms. Ben's band bangs and Bim's band booms. Pig band, boom band, big band, broom band. My poor mouth can't say that. No, sir. My poor mouth is much too slow, sir. Well then, bring your mouth this way. I'll find it something to say. Sorry, I messed up. I'll find it something it can say. There you go. Luke Luck likes lakes. Luke Stuck likes lakes. Luke Luck licks lakes. Luke Stuck licks lakes. Duke takes... Duck takes lakes. In lakes, Luke Luck licks. Likes. Luke Luck takes licks in lakes. Duck likes. That one is very hard for me. I can't blab such blibber blubber. My tongue isn't made of rubber. Mr. Knox, now come now, come now. You don't have to be so dumb now. Try to say this, Mr. Knox, please. Through three cheese trees, three free fleas flew, while these fleas flew, freezy breeze blew. Freezy breeze made these three trees freeze. Freezy trees made these trees cheese freeze. That's what made these three free fleas sneeze. Stop it, stop it, that's enough, sir. I can't say such silly stuff, sir. Very well then, Mr. Knox, sir. Let's have a little talk about Tweedle Beetles. Uh -oh. What do you know about Tweedle Beetles? Well, when Tweedle Beetles fight, it's called a Tweedle Beetle battle. And when they battle in a puddle, it's a Tweedle Beetle puddle battle. And when Tweedle Beetles battle with paddles in a puddle, they call it a Tweedle Beetle puddle paddle battle. And when beetles battle beetles in a puddle paddle battle and the beetle battle puddle is a puddle in a bottle, they call this a tweedle beetle bottle puddle battle paddle battle muddle. And when the beetles fight these battles in a bottle with their paddles and the bottles on a poodle and the poodles eating noodles, they call this a muddle puddle. Tweedle, poodle, beetle, noodle, bottle, paddle, battle, and... Oh my goodness. Now wait a minute, Mr. Sox Fox. Oh, I needed a break too. When a fox is in the bottle where the Tweedle Beetles battle and their paddles in a puddle on a noodle eatle, eating poodle, this is what they call a Tweedle Beetle Noodle Poodle Bottled Paddled Muddled Duddled Fuddled Waddled Fox in Socks, sir. Whoa. Fox and Socks, our game is done, sir. Thank you for a lot of fun, sir. Oh, the end. Now, is your tongue numb? Mine sure is. For our art activity, we are going to be painting our very own Fox and Socks with our hands. So first we are going to need some orange and blue paint and your left hand. So first I'm going to paint my left hand orange. So I want to make sure I get a lot of paint on my hand, that way it sticks. I'm going to do this a little bit quickly, that way our paint doesn't dry on our hand. So I'm going to paint my whole hand but leave my fingertips blank because we are going to be painting them blue, just like our fox in the socks. These are going to be our sock color. 
And if you need help painting your hand, you sh can go ask someone to help you during this art activity. That's totally okay. Sometimes we need a little bit of extra help. It's gonna be a little hard painting your own hand. So now that I have my orange all over my hand, I'm going to grab my other brush and paint the, my little fingertips right here. that done. I'm going to grab my paper. Oops, got stuck to my plate. Grab my paper and just do it at the very top right here. Squish, squish, squish. Make sure all the paint goes on my paper. Press really, really hard. Let's see. So all of my paint didn't go on my paper, but that's okay. I'm just going to grab my brush and I am going to fill it in. that I filled it in however I wanted, um, I'm going to go wash my hand because we are going to use this hand again. Now that my hand is all washed off, I am going to grab my orange paint again one more time and I'm going to paint my whole hand this time. Now that my hand is all covered in paint, I'm actually going to flip my paper over just like this and my hand is going to go right up here at the top. Let me scoot this down. Right up here at the top and I'm going to make my fingers like this. So these are going to be my ears and this will be my nose. So I'm going to put it right over here to the side of my body and just go. And again, I didn't get all my paint on my paper and that's okay. I'm going to go ahead and fill it in with my paintbrush. So I filled it in a little bit and now we are going to add details to the face. But first, before we add details, I need to let this dry because it's still a little wet from all the paint that we put on it. So I'm going to go wash my hands and let it dry. There we go. I'm going to paint it one more time to do my other eye. one right next to it right here there we go so now that the paint is dry I'm gonna go ahead and go in with my pencil and add some details to my fox and socks so I see that he has some eyebrows so I'm gonna put some eyebrows up here I'm going go in with pencil first just in case I want to erase start over and you can do and you can do whatever you want to do for your fox and socks. I'm going to add some eyelashes. Now that I have all of the details I want, I'm going to go ahead and grab my Sharpie. Awesome job. So now I filled in my fox and socks. I added whatever details I wanted to. Like I said, you can make whatever you want on your picture. This is your picture. So I just added a nose, a big smile, and some ears to our fox and the sock. Hi boys and girls. Thank you so much for coming along with me and making our fox and the socks and reading a very funny book. Um, I hope that you had a very fun time using your fine motor skills and all of the paint that we used today and keep on the lookout for more lunchtime learnings. See ya!